As we learn more about neurodegenerative diseases, the activation of inflammatory pathways is a common observation across many diseases. It raises the question in the field though, is it, is this inflammation related to neuronal cell death as a consequence, or is it causal? Rare mutations in risk genes associated with some of the neurodegenerative diseases map onto innate immune pathways, suggesting that the immune, the innate immune changes might be causal. But root causes of inflammation have been quite elusive in these neurodegenerative diseases. In this study, we identified a bona fide activator of the innate immune, innate immune pathway, cytoplasmic double-stranded RNA, present in the cytoplasm of patients with frontal temporal dementia and amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. These, this cytoplasmic double-stranded RNA is spatially co-localized with TDB43 inclusions, a common pathologic hallmark in ALS and present in about 50% of patients with frontal temporal dementia. We particularly see this phenotype in patients with C9ORF72, the most common mutation in these diseases. That mutation is a hexanucleotide expansion that leads to the production of both sense and antisense RNA. We've isolated the double-stranded RNA from the brains of these patients and show that part of it um, is coming from this hexanucleotide expansion. In the next phase of the study, we asked whether genomically encoded cytoplasmic double-stranded RNA can cause neuroinflammation and neuronal death in an intact neural circuit. Using two mouse lines that express genomically encoded cytoplasmic double-stranded RNA in about 1% of the neurons, we saw neuroinflammation in those cells as well as all the neighboring adjacent cells. We also observed about a 40% loss of neurons of those neighboring or adjacent cells, in spite of the double-stranded RNA being expressed only in 1% of the cells. In addition, we saw that the inflammation spread to the connected neurons in the circuit, as well as we saw neuronal loss in those circuits as well. The significance of this observation is that clinically, when patients come to or present with symptoms of neurodegenerative disease, they've lost about 50% of the neurons in that given neural system. And yet their brains are not about, are not 50% smaller. That argues against a stochastic mechanism, a cell autonomous stochastic mechanism, and suggests that there's mechanisms of propagation within these diseases that makes neighboring and connected neurons more vulnerable to death. An observation that we're seeing in this mouse model. In the next phase of the study, we recapitulated this biology and cultured differentiated human neural cells. Here we used GFP stably transfected cells, so the labeled green, and synthetic double-stranded RNA with a rhodamine tag, which is labeled red. Using a special lipid carrier, we introduced the double-stranded RNA into the cytoplasm. And using time-lapse microscopy, we could see that the double-stranded RNA moves down the processes, surrounds the nucleus, and then ultimately leads to neuronal death. We see inflammation in about 24 hours, and we see the neuronal death in about 48 hours. So the paradigm that we're putting forth is that as one ages, they, one develops cytoplasmic double-stranded RNA with the neurons, that's tightly associated with TDB43 pathology. The contribution of that double-stranded RNA can come from genomic lesions, although other labs have reported deep repression of retrotransposons that can contribute, and viruses or reactivation of viruses may also be a contributing factor. The double-stranded double RNA levels rise and cross a threshold to tr trigger innate immune signaling. And if they rise further, then they may evoke neuronal death. So using our cell-based model, it gave us the opportunity to screen drugs. And we focused on drugs that target the innate immune signaling. We were able to find that three FDA-approved JAK inhibitors, which target the type 1 interferon signaling, lead to reduction of the inflammation and rescue of neuronal death in a dose-dependent manner. We then introduced one of those JAK inhibitors back into our mouse model and showed that it also rescued neuronal death after systemic administration. Using the biomarkers that came from, or that are associated with double-stranded RNA in the brains, 
we've designed a clinical trial, biomarker driven, um, that's going to launch in the fall to recruit patients with ALS and these biomarkers associated with double strand RNA and their CSF and test whether one of these FDA approved JAK inhibitors leads to uh, reduction of the inflammation and the resolution or some reduction in neuronal death. In the lab, we're continuing our study of these signaling networks, innate immune signaling networks within neurons and looking to leverage differences that we see from the canonical signaling pathways for new therapeutic targets that might be more CNS specific. 